Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about an old time machinist trick that some of you may be familiar with and some of you may not. It's called the scale trick. And by scale, we're talking about a machinist ruler like this. This can be used to find the center height of your tool on the lathe. Now you can also use this to find the center of a bar on a mill or in a drill press vise. I'm going to cover that in next week's video. This week is all about the lathe. The way this trick works is you pinch the scale in between the tool and your part. If you're too low, like in this situation, the scale is angled backwards with the top towards the operator. When your tool is above center, the top of the scale will be angled away from the operator. When you're right on center, it should be nice and vertical. I made my examples of the tool being too low and too high a little bit exaggerated for the camera, but this is almost on center and you can see the scale is practically vertical. I think, however, that it's still slightly too low and I think that's where I would generally want to be because it's a lot easier to adjust the tool upward with one of these Alorus tool posts. You could easily check this with a machinist square just to get a little bit closer. But honestly, I think that's a bit overkill, and I would just take a facing cut and then adjust it based on the nub that's left. Let me talk about a couple of nuances with this trick. When I use it, I like to use a thicker, stiff machinist scale rather than one of these thin, flexible ones. I find I get better results because the flexible one might have a little bit of a bend to it, and that can mess with your eyeball. One other thing about this trick is that you do not want to use it with carbide tooling, only high-speed steel. If you were to press this scale into the workpiece with a piece of carbide tooling, either a brazed carbide or a carbide insert, that is just a recipe for getting a chip in the edge of that carbide. I use an Aloris type tool post on this lathe, and adjusting the center height couldn't be simpler. You just open up the cam, and then you have this adjusting ring right here that sits against the top of the tool post. You can use that to either lower or raise the tool. And once you get the center height where you want it, you simply lock the cam and then tighten up this jam nut. The jam nut is incredibly important because that keeps your adjusting nut in place. And that means when you take these tools off and then reinstall them, the center height is going to remain the same. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know down in the comments below, or just ask any other machining related questions that you might want answered in a future video. While you're down there, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button as well. And if you're interested in supporting the channel further, check out my Patreon link down in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.